All right. <laughs> Tried filming this video like 18 different fucking times now. Let me get this. Testing, testing, anal beads. Cool. It works. Hey, how you doing, people? Uh, just doing a little bit of a an update. It's been a couple months since the last time I did an update on my uh, marijuana intake. Um, oh, delicious. Um, here we are. A year and... What are, what are we at right now? One year and eight days later, I think it is. Yeah. One year and eight days sober from the weed. I, I'll be honest with you. The only reason I counted that like these last eight days is because I just needed to let you guys know in the video. But from this point on, I'm not going to keep track of how long I've been sober from weed. There's no point. I said, figure, hey, if a motherfucker that was that deep in the trenches of smoking that much um, has made it a year, um, I think, you know, we can call it pretty fucking good, you know. Um I just want to give you guys, you know, some updates on how the last year has gone, uh, give some pros and cons. Hopefully this can be, you know, a good informational video, help others that maybe are struggling with uh, smoking weed, you know, like it, because it really is an issue for a lot of people. Um, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot more cons than there are pros to smoking, in my opinion, so... I will get into that though here in a quick second. A um, little backstory. Let's see. Christmas Eve of last year, 2021, I I had my last panic attack. I had my last one out of three total um, while smoking weed. Uh, the first one, I smoked an entire blunt and um, started having paranoia, anxiety felt like I was going to black out, um, thought it was the weed that, that was the issue, turns out I went and bought another, another completely different brand, brand batch, uh, strain from a different person completely, and, uh, started having the same panic attack, so threw that out, uh, as well as the first round of weed that gave me a panic attack, so I went and, you know, third time's a charm, I'm like, there's, I was at such a point where I was like, there's no way that um, me and weed are fighting like this right now. Because I, I like, listen, I, my identity was uh, weed. I was, I was a pothead, you know, that was, that was it. And so, um, third time's a charm, I took a small hit of some different weed and panicked. I started having another panic, freak out, anxiety attack, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I want to just say that, that, you know, I, I was, I tried to quit so many different times before this and I never could do it on my own and I'm not preaching to anybody. I, I will never do that, but I will say, and maybe, maybe this video is technically preaching, but whatever, who gives a fuck? We all contradict ourselves. Um, I was never able to quit weed in the last seven, eight years and I wanted to on my own. I just couldn't do it cold turkey. I never, you know, every time I would make it a day or two, I'm like, oh, I can, uh, I can smoke a little bit. And then a whole, you know, a whole eighth of a fucking bag of weed later, there I was, you know, looking for more weed. Um, fiending, you know, that's what I really, that's what, that's what ultimately changed my mind to like, okay, I need to get out of the uh, habit of smoking so much. I was becoming a fiend and it was ruining friendships and uh, uh, relationships with family members because, you know, I'd be fiending so hard for just getting high that I wouldn't, like, I would be going and reaching out to friends and family to get some weed and along the way it just got diluted and, you know, it just became all about weed after, after you know, so long. So that's one of the first benefits is, like, now that I don't smoke, um, did I even get to the point or how, how the fuck I quit? No, let me rewind. I'm sorry. I have ADHD. Um, I prayed to God because I couldn't quit on my own. I prayed to God and I asked him to please just remove weed from my life completely. Um, 
and not even a week later, I'm having these panic attacks. Um, had the three. Christmas Eve, I had my last one. I decided, all right, I'm done. And I was done. That's just straight up how it was. It took three times to have those panic attacks, three times in a row. And uh, I do believe that God took that away from me the way, you know, the way I asked him to. I said, just take it away from me any way you can. Out of my mind, my body, my soul, boom. And uh, he tickled me with anxiety. I've never had anxiety like that in my life. I really haven't. I mean, I will, I've had, you know, I was an amateur wrestler in high school, professional wrestler uh, still. That stuff brings anxiety, but this, stu- this anxiety was another level. Uh, the paranoia was another level. And that, just, that doesn't just happen. It hasn't never happened like that in the seven and a half, eight years that I smoked. Um, so yeah, that, that's one of, the, one of the first reasons I find it beneficial that I got away from weed. The, you know, my, my relationships with my, my family members have gotten better. My friendships have gotten better. Um, a lot of my friendships actually have kind of disappeared because a lot of the friendships were, were just based on weed, you know, sadly. And, you know, I hate, you know, I just fucking, it's just sad, you know, but it is what it is. Now I know that. Uh, another benefit of quitting was my, my finances have gotten so much better. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not even crazy. Like, I should have known, like, the money, the amount of money, which weekly was probably hundreds I was spending on weed, could have all been saved. My, you know, my savings is much better. Um, I got myself a better car. Like, I was in such a bad situation, all because of my habit of buying weed and smoking weed. That was it. It was like, and there's no, there's no true benefit to weed other than the instant gratification, the instant high you get. Like, there's no benefit to it. Uh, you know, you're spending all your money, if you were, you know, doing it like I was, which is like I was a wake and bake motherfucker. Um, I was unproductive. I did not have a gym membership. Um, now I, I'm four or five days in the gym a week. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm making better money. Uh, yeah, I've taken a little time from wrestling to just get my head together, get my real life in order, and I've thankfully done that, and I will be going back here soon, but that's another topic for a different video. Um, what the fuck else was I... I should have wrote this stuff down. I'm just... You know, look at me. Regardless of, like, quitting weed, I still have my memories dog shit. Like, it is what it is. It's always been that way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, uh, more productive in the gym, more productive daily and weekly. I, I get a lot more done. If I had a, you know, before, if I had a list of five or six things I needed to do within one day, I would get two of them done, maybe three. Um, but now I get all five or six of those things done, uh, which is nice. It's, it's definitely a confidence booster when you can look back at the day and off the list and realize, oh, fuck, I got all this stuff done that I wanted to. It's perfect. Um, social interactions are a lot better, a lot more energized. I have just have more energy overall without, without smoking weed. Um, and uh, my, my ways of dealing with stress are a lot more healthy. You know, like weed, all, all weed does is... Uh, put a really weak bandage over any issues, anxieties, emotions, depression you're having. Um, and while you're smoking those away, they're not going away. They're sitting right in here, right in your stomach, right in your head. And the moment you become sober and you don't have weed to cover it up, dude, all those anxieties and emotions and all that stuff is going to come tumbling in at once. Um, and honestly, when you're smoking all of them away, they're just building stronger and stronger. And there's probably more that you're hiding away that's stacking on top of all of that, you know. Because when I first 
the first couple, the first couple weeks of, of, of not smoking, I, man, I had outrageous anxiety. I really did. Like I remember <laughs> Christmas day, I had such anxiety. I could not sit still. I was up and walking around and my family was like, are you know, are you okay? Like I can just tell you have a lot of energy and anxiety and I just could not relax. It was insane. Like that was all that pent up energy and emotion and anxiety that I had never dealt with. So now fast forward, I started working out heavily in the gym and I've gotten past that point. Now I've got all the energy worked out of me. It's called, you know, we call it working out for a reason. It worked it all out of me. Um, now I'm just maintaining, you know, maintaining all of my fucked upness like we all should be doing by working out, by journaling, um, by going to the sauna 20 minutes a day, three times, four times a week. Um, you know, those are, those are a couple of things that I use to deal with stress. Even when I'm at, even now, like I don't have depression anymore, but even when, like we all get bummed out. We're human beings. Like life is, life is hard. It's, this existence is difficult in general. Um, whenever I'm stressed out, it's not as bad as it used to be. Whenever I'm feeling a little anxious, it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. I, just, I, can, I can sit there and rationally think through what's going on in my head and body and, and work through it. You know, I like to pray a lot. That helps tremendously. Um, those are just some things that I do. But everybody's got their own beliefs. Everybody's got their own, uh, their own mechanisms. And no, I don't judge that. Um, yeah, man. So life has gotten a lot better overall. Um, relationships with family and friends better. Finances are better. Um, dealing with stress and anxiety way better. Um, you know, I've even developed, you know, hobbies. You know, I used to just sit around and smoke weed and watch TV and eat junk. And that was, those were my hobbies, man. Those are it. I, and I, I would sit there and smoke weed and try to figure out my life and why it was so fucked up. When, when in reality, I was sitting right next to the issue, a pile of fucking buds. That was it, man. Like, I got that figured out, you know. And, uh, you know, we got new goals set in life. We're, we're, we're entering into the, we have entered into the new year. It's 2023 as we speak, or as I speak. And uh, I've got a lot looking forward that. I'm going to accomplish, I'm ready to fucking get after it, man. Um, pro wrestling, I'm going to be returning to pro wrestling in a very part-time manner. Uh, I love wrestling. I had to take the last year off just to, like I said earlier, get some things straightened out in my own life, and uh, we're good now. But, uh, yeah, there's a billion other things I've been training for. Like, I've been training for arm wrestling competitions, Um there's this guy named Devin Larrett who, who, uh, whose videos pop up on my YouTube and he, dude, he's a fucking animal. He's got me motivated to want to at least, uh, take my shot at, at competitive arm wrestling. So, um, yeah, man. And just staying in the best shape I can possibly stay in going forward and, you know, building good, genuine friendships as opposed to, you know, drug based friendships, uh, a lot, of, a lot of things to look forward to. Um, yeah, man. I'm excited for the next... I'm excited for the future in general. Like, you know, not just the next year. But yeah, man. So, if you're, if you're struggling with, you know, an addiction or, you know, a strong habit to, you know, weed, my best advice is to just you know, have some faith in God and pray it away. And I know that to a lot of people, modern day people don't like hearing that because it's just not popular. But uh, that's, that's my advice. That is exactly what has worked for me. I prayed it away and, and it's literally the only thing that's ever worked. So, and I've been a year and eight days strong. I have no desire to go back. I I uh, I won't lie. There's times where I'll have dreams 
of smoking weed and getting high. I literally will get high in the dream and I'll wake up and for like another 15 minutes to a half hour, I'll be craving weed. But I mean, by no means am I seeking it out or, um, you know, dead set on <laughs> getting back into that lifestyle. Ugh, fuck no, dude. Life is too good without it. Uh, life provides natural highs. And that's what I'm seeking now, man. So um, that's pretty much it, man. I don't have a whole lot else to put out there. Uh, just know that life is a, a beautiful thing. It's also a very tough and stressful thing. Um, but it can be dealt with without drugs at all. You know, I'll have an occasional beer, you know, fucking, you know, vodka, soda or some shit. But other than that, no, man, no drug. Uh, 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 no drugs here. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. So just, uh, stay strong. Man thong, Donkey Kong. Peace.